Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and those who don't know what the hell you are yet. Hop along, PR here. We are back playing Legend of Heroes, Trails in the Sky. Okay, so it's been a little bit of time since I've played this. I pretty much am picking up exactly where we left off last time. So we are headed west, and I haven't done anything on my own, obviously, as you can see, because A, I don't want to progress without you guys. I don't know. feel like that's the point of, you know, a playthrough. Play the game, or at least important parts, while recording. The second reason is, well, I've kind of been busy playing other games. Um, just, jeez, I was not expecting Pokemon Go to be as, what's the word I want to be? Influential on my life as it is. Meaning, I do, well, this probably doesn't seem like a lot to, you know, normal people, but I go on three, um, two and a half mile walks now because of the Pokemon Go. I need to hatch those eggs, man. Gee, my entire egg inventory is just like five kilometer eggs. Don't get me wrong. They're nice. They usually have decent Pokemon, but... I only have one incubator. Yeah, not fun, but it's got me. <laughs> well, it's increased my one walk a day to three. So yeah, it's actually been pretty influential in my life, but you know, it's a good thing. Okay, Crohn's pass. Is that a disease? Crohn's disease, yeah. I'm guessing if the word disease is involved, it's not anything pleasant. Man, we finally made it up here. Once we pass through this checkpoint, we're supposed to be in the Rhone region, right? Yep, that's supposed to be the other side. But unfortunately, it's almost sundown. Maybe we should ask them to let us stay here for the night. I guess we could do that. But we also got the option to hurry down through the pass and rest at the end at the foot of the mountain, right? Crossing through the pass at night would be dangerous. With our field of vision limited, that'd be bad footing. There's also a possibility we could fall off a cliff if it were attacked by nocturnal monsters. I wouldn't recommend it. You're right. I guess it could be pretty dangerous. It looks like all we have to do is explain our situation to the soldier at the checkpoint. Yeah, I'm sure they'll understand. Oh, this is unusual. We don't get many trails here this hour. Did you get lost hiking along the trail? Not exactly. We're bracers, just so you know. She showed her the junior bracer. Wow, I'm surprised there's a bracer your age. So here with work then. No, actually we're traveling around the kingdom to become senior bracers. And so we figured we'd travel on foot to get some training instead of using an airliner. We're gonna travel on the kingdom on foot? Maybe it has something to do with being young, but you kids are certainly fired up these days. Maybe that's a bit of an overstatement. Let's tell you to try and head down through the past now would be suicide. Recently we've had an untold number of monsters appearing in the area. Quite particular, really. We've got the rest of the stop for travelers, so it'd be best to stay here for the night. Sweet. Thanks a bunch. This really help us out a lot. Don't mention it. Just talk to the chief warrant officer when you're ready to hit the sack. He's in the guard station straight ahead. I thought that said chef officer. That would have been a far more fun title. What's your position in the military? Sergeant. What's your position? Chief. What's your position? Chef. Chief. Sergeant. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. It's cold after dark, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to rest, you know, without asking anybody because I'm a grown ass 16 year old bracer. Um, no, maybe. Yes. Huh? And you are, we apologize for intruding at this hour, but we were wondering, Joshua explained the situation and asked if they could stay the night. Estelle tried to make her eyes large and yearning so she could, in the hopes of scoring some free food as well. I see, well, that's no problem. I see the element that you're bracers. Feel free to use the room next to here. We really appreciate this, sir. And no free food. Darn. Guess those puppy, uh, puppy dog eyes didn't work. So this is a room for travelers, huh? Yeah, let's get that fireplace on, shall we? Let's set the mood, shall we? Ah, it's nice and warm. But you know, wood stoves just feel much more cozy than these things. 
Yeah, I agree. Orb mints stoves may heat up quickly, but they're certainly efficient, but they can't compare to the feel of real wood burning stove. True, but those ones are much easier to use. I'm sorry to borrow, bother you. I heard from the chief that you'd be staying the night. If you need anything for dinner, we'd be happy to share what we have with you if you'd like. Really? That'd be wonderful. Thanks. Don't worry, after the airliners went into service, the number of travelers coming through here drastically decreased. Honestly, with all the free time we've got, we welcome any guests coming through here. In that case, I'd make sure that we'll eat up. Alright then, give us a little time to get supper in order. And, uh, full disclosure here, I think it's the usher's night to cook, so I hope your stomachs aren't delicate. Not the, it's just usher. There sure was a lot of rivalry going on between Sky Bandit incidents. But there are quite a few nice soldiers once you start to talk to them on a personal level. Yeah, that's true. Well, I think liberal is probably about the only place you're going to find nice soldiers. What do you mean by that? Don't take me too serious. I was just thinking out loud. In the meantime, let's put our bags down somewhere. Mm, beds, tables, floor, couches, fireplace. <laughs> oh man, I am stuffed. They said not to expect much, but the food was pretty good, don't you think? Yeah, it was uh, certainly nothing like I've ever had before. Excuse me for disturbing you. Can't you see in the middle we're having a moment? Ah. Oh, sir, the meal was delicious. Thanks so much. Yes, thank you. Really? You must have taste buds of iron, too. I mean, I'm glad to hear that you enjoyed it. Anyhow, we had another guest arrive, so if it wouldn't be too much trouble, could you two share the same room? Another guest in the middle of the night like this? We must have serious guts hiking around the mountains at this hour. But no, we don't mind. It's not like we're paying to stay here either. I really appreciate that. It's actually the same line as work you, so I'm pretty sure you'll get along just fine. Huh? I know I've seen you two somewhere before. Oh, it's that dude. Your heavy blade of Gatze. Oh, so you know each other already. By the way, Gatze, do you plan to do about dinner? Appreciate the invitation, but I had something before coming up. All I need is somewhere to crash for the night. Understood. Go ahead and divide up the beds amongst yourselves. All right. Good night. Now, if I remember right, weren't you Cassius's kids? What are you doing sleeping in a place like this? And what happened to Sherizard? Sherizard returned to Roland. Now it's just the two of us traveling together. We're thinking of making our way around the kingdom in order to become senior bracers. We're going to places we want to protect to train so we can do just that. Senior Brace is traveling the entire kingdom on foot? You two are really a bunch of carefree brats, are you? Why did you call us? There's no way the two of you are going to come sim simply come Senior Bracers. Use your brains and think for a moment. Say what you want, but we help in the rest of the Sky Bandits. We even got some recommendations of quit, quit treating us like we're a bunch of kids. Now that, I heard all about it from old man Logren. All right, let me put it to you this way. Suppose you had been the only ones there. Do you think you could have resolved the incidents? Just you two alone, without Sherzard's help. Well, I think it would have been very difficult. That's pretty obvious when you think about it, huh? You're newbies and little brats, to say the least. Not to mention you're lacking in strength and experience, so you don't have the ability to make quick, sound judgments. You get caught up in yourselves and forget that one of these days you're going to get the rug pulled out from under you. We're not all cut up on ourselves. How about you, Mr. Macho Man? What do you think and try to pass through this night? Either plain careless or maybe a bandana is just a little too tight. Watch your mouth, brat. I'm trying to hone my skills unlike you amateurs. Besides, I'm here for work. Don't compare my actions with your tourist training. Work for the guild. Yeah, that's right. The work your old man forced on me. Dad push his work onto you? Forget about it. It's an early day, so I need to get some rest. Quit talking and get some sleep. What an asshole. Just avoid finishing the conversation. Well, I did drop a tidbit about dads. That's something, at least. Enough already. Just shut the hell up and let me sleep. Better stop poking around when you shouldn't, or you're going to be burned. Blah, blah, blah. That's better suited for the likes of you. Hey, looks like he's asleep, and just as quickly as someone I know. Don't you even dare suggest that I'm anything like this jerk. What's his deal, anyhow? Seems like he's trying to do is pick a fight. Relax, Estelle. That's true, we're just novices at this. Could be that he said that because he's worried about us. You really think so, Joshua? I wish I could say for sure, but I don't know. 
We definitely did get one thing right. We should turn in for the night. We gotta hike down through the pass tomorrow. I'm all riled up now, but I guess there's nothing to be done about it. Unless we do it on this jerk's face before we go to sleep. I'm sure he wouldn't wake up by the way he's snoring. Don't even think about it. No, no, I was a Estelle on this one. There's nothing like a good old dick butt on the face. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm ready to take over for you. Oh, is that time already? Well, it makes me wonder if anyone needs a stand guard with nobody coming through here. Would you be able to get the gate locked at night? Unfortunately, rules are rules and it's our job to follow them. We just got over the sky bandit mess and now things be going downhill. What's the matter? Did you hear something? It sounds like some rustling leaves. Sure, it's not just the wind? Oh, yeah. Not the wind. Oh, wow. Well, it's a good thing you have some bracers here. What was that? Sounds like there's something going on. I'm going to check it out. You two stay here. Like hell. We better go see for ourselves in case. Of course, that's what we should do. Um, I'm going to save it. You know, save and save often. Gamer's Creed. I wonder how many people actually know that. Because I learned that from my cousin back when I was just a wee lad. And hold on a second. Okay, back. I had to blow my nose. Wolves! This is bad news. We better hurry up and take... Forget it, kids. Why are you trying to stop us from helping? You call yourself a bracer? Don't get me wrong. It's just at the army's job protective checkpoint. Not yours. These guys are well-trained, so they should be able to take care of them in no time. You just getting in the way. Pretty sure we could. Just like he says, this is our job. Now get back inside, you three. But... Crap. What the heck is going on? Stell, the other side. It's like something is happening on the ruined side of the checkpoint, too. One hit wonder. Incredible. It's even stronger than the rumor suggests. So you tend to surround me, huh? Pretty clever for a bunch of mutts. Got you covered. Hey, get back inside. Can't help stop us from helping you out. We'll try to help you out without getting in the way. Fine, whatever. Just make sure not to be caught beneath the, my heavy blade. Is that a euphemism? Agate, if that is your real name. Ooh. He already comes preloaded. Oh, he has quite a bit more health than I do. Oh, wow. Ooh. Did I? Yes, I think. This is new. I did some customization. I just forget what I did. Ooh. You know what? You have a big ass sword. Wow, that is quite the trade off. You fucking missed. I think you're the noob here. to be safe. Oh, that was nice. Okay. Beat down. Also, these are attack Dobermans, not wild wolves. So somebody must be planning to take out the checkpoint. If that wasn't obvious already. Stay away from Estelle. Say stay away from Estelle, but what do you do? Uh, might as well get one hit on him.
Ooh, ooh. Can I save her? Can I save her? 200, 300. Yes. Sweet. The food in this game is just a godsend. It's just... I thought I was stuck with, like, the 200 item, but nope. Food's there. Got some good old quality noms. I get no I can't get two of them damn it oh, no. ah. ouch why what have we ever done to you honestly um, can you hit him? Yes, you can. I really hope that's not an indicator of what level I'm supposed to be currently. Because, you know, not there. Obviously. Also, what is it with people in using oversized swords? Don't be wrong. I like the look of oversized swords, and... If there's a sword wielding protagonist in a game, there's a good chance I'll like it, but him with his oversized sword, Cloud with the Buster Sword. Squall was cool. He had the gun blade. I think that's the best weapon in any of the Final Fantasies so far. Well, best swords, I should say. Not really saying a lot, considering he liked to recycle the swords. Oh, I did like Zidane's um, thief blades. Those were cool looking. I even... Back when I was, this is story time. Back when I was a wee lad, when I was in um, the Boy Scouts, we would have the annual Pinewood Derby, which it's just a lot of work. Mostly done by the parents. Yeah, the stereotype that it's done by the parents, completely true. I know my dad practically made years one and two for me. I think year three, he was kind of too busy helping my brother to get mine done. He was pretty much like, eh, you've done this before. You know the routine. But, um, I remember I was designing one of the cars and I did a very crude, um, design of one of Zidane's blades on the side. And... I really wish I could go back and do it now, because... Okay, level 22. There's no way I'm going to be there. But... I wish I could go back and do it, because I just did such an archaic design, and... I could have done so much better. Yeah, there are a lot of them. They're pretty formidable. Looks like you had yourself better than I thought you would have been. But then again, it's really natural for you two to learn the basics from your old man. Huh? Don't get me wrong. I mean, you did well for newbies. So I'll have a long way for coming senior brace or so. Hey, was everything okay over here? Yeah, it's all good. We take care of every last one. How is your injured guy? Luckily, he just suffered a few minor cuts and bruises. I'm glad you helped out. Should have expected from Heavy Blade Agate. I didn't do much. These kids didn't do a half bad job either. That's so. Well, thank you too then. Oh, sure. We tend to patrol the area just in case. How about you guys get inside and get some rest? We'll do that, but you be careful. He seems like an older brother character. Basically, don't do anything stupid. Get yourself hurt. <laughs> ha! I imagine things you just give us a compliment. You may have recognized our ability. He's a lot more straightforward than we made him out to be. Well, I don't know about that. But certainly he talks big, that's for sure. Well, he has to have a good talk to match his sword. Duh, Estelle. Estelle. Estelle, wake up. Oh, got a woman get her beauty sleep. Huh? Joshua? Sorry, time to go to the guild? What are you talking about? This is Crone's Pass checkpoint. Oh, that's right. We had that monster scare last night, and... Huh? Where'd the redhead jerk go? Looks like he took off early this morning. Apparently had an urgent job to attend to. After we helped him fend off those monsters, too. How rude of him not to say anything before leaving. It's not that big of a deal, Estelle. Well, we get rid of ourselves. I'd like to make it through the pass by noon. All right. Out to ruin we go. 
And that'll be it for this episode. So thank you guys for watching. I'll be back with the next episode.